What is the difference between a fixed and adjustable rate when buying a mortgage? And make sure to stick around and find out what we're going to do with this $1,000. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with eXp Realty. Sammy Eliopoulos with uh, Guaranteed Rate. So, Sammy, tell me, what is a fixed rate? Let's start with fixed rates. Yeah, a uh, fixed rate is just a rate that's fixed for the duration of the term. It could be 30, 15, 20, 25, 10, whatever you want. Okay, so in general, would you say the 30 years is probably the most popular fixed rate out there? Generally? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Um, so, so we know the fixed rate, it's kind of fixed rates, right? So adjustable rates, right? There's a little bit more complexity to adjustable rates. So um, how do adjustable rates, how, how do they work? Uh, typically they start off with, um, first they're, they're pulled out for over 30 years, they're amortized over 30 years. Okay. Um, they could start off with a, as fixed for three years, five years, seven years, or 10 years. Okay. And a three year fixed rate is called a three one arm. Most of the time, yeah. 3-1 arm or 5-1 arm or 7-1 seven. Seven arm. So what does that mean? When, I, when, when you say to me, hey, look, you know, we're looking at a 7-1 arm for you, what would that mean to me? 7-1 arm basically means you're fixed for the first seven years, and then after that it can change between one or twice a year after, okay. depending on the program. So rate difference. What's the difference between a fixed rate versus adjustable rate? Is one generally more expensive? Yeah, the 30-year fixed rate is always more expensive. Uh, the adjustable interest rates could be as low as, you know, three-quarters of a percent lower than the 30-year fixed, depending on the program. Okay, so... Also, would that mean the longer you go out on that fixed term in adjustable rate? So if you were a 7-1 arm or a 10-1 arm, is that rate going to be higher than, say, a 2-1? Two, two yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's okay. definitely higher than that. Okay. So so okay, so so basically, if you're looking for a really inexpensive rate, yep. right, and you're not really worried about the risk, because there is more risk with an adjustable mortgage, yep. right? We haven't, we haven't really seen that risk today, but... Hey, in the interest, increasing interest rate environment, like, of course. you know, that's a big concern. Yeah, most know? people um, won't keep their loan for 30 years, so that's the, one of the main reasons that they're going to do the, the, uh, the adjustables. That's why sometimes right. they'll choose a 7 or a 10, because you're still getting about a half a point difference. Well, and as a great example, I, when I bought my, my house, uh, we're signed up for a 7-1 arm, um, and we're, we're refinancing right now. And, you know, that 7-1 arm, and, and the reason why we're financing is, is I'm kind of seeing interest rates tick up a little bit, yeah. where if it adjusted today, I actually think my interest rate would it go would, down, absolutely. right? Yeah. Um, but, you know, there's like a gray cloud. I, I kind of think that some in, we're, I think interest rates are going to be increasing over the long term versus the short term, hence why you know, exactly. I'm really looking to refinance. So. Yeah, it, it's, it depends on the person's um, personal uh, information. It depends on where they see themselves in the next 10 years. But right. traditionally, we analyze that in order to give you um, some type of uh, a breakdown of what would be best for you. Yeah. My, my, personally, my always rule of thumb is... You know, so say if you're planning on being in the house for five years, don't do a five one arm. Do like a seven one arm or ten. You know, buy yeah or ten. Just buy yourself a little bit longer of a period, just in case, yeah. right? So that that's always been my kind of with, advice on that. With rising, um, you know, mortgage prices. I mean, ultimately, you know, you're going to save yourself thousands of dollars in interest just by taking the adjustable interest rate in most cases. Right. But you have you're paying for that interest with Correct. no risk. I mean, that's, Correct. that's all to me. So it's it's up to it's up to your personal risk profile and what you're willing exactly. to do. And you really want to talk to your mortgage banker and a lot more detail make sure you are fully knowledgeable about the program because that's actually one of the big things back in 2008 you had all these mortgage brokers throwing people in these two two 28 yeah, yeah 228 arms and you know a lot of people got in a lot of trouble that way so yep a lot of them had prepayment penalties um, and so on and so forth it was yeah. very very risky so it, the point is is you really want to talk to your mortgage banker and you really want to learn the ins and outs of any loan that they're you know they're they're, they're talking to you about um, and just really knowing your risk. So, um, like I said, I'm Jeff Chubb. Sammy, how do they get a hold of you? Yeah, uh, uh, they can email me directly at Sammy, S A M M Y, at rate.com or my cell phone, 978 815 2445. And you can get a hold of me at Jeff at Boston2.com or by phone at 617 480 2600. And this $1,000, so once we hit 1,000 subscribers, we're going to give this $1,000 to the ASPCA. So go ahead and drop a hammer on that subscribe button. Let's save some cats and dogs together. And, uh, other Otherwise, we look forward to hearing from you with your questions uh, and hope you're having a great day.